Now that we have a clear sky background, let's add in a sun that we can animate and design. Under Game Object and under Create Other, add in a direction light. And let's name it Sun. Set everything under the Inspector tab and transform to zero except for its scale. Now you can press F to focus on it. Let's add in the game object under other of a terrain so that we can see how far away we need to place the sun. You'll notice that the train comes into the scene at zero zero and then the light source is at zero zero also so it's at a corner. We can treat this side as west and we can move the sun about halfway down the terrain that way when it arches over the terrain it's not going to be to the side of the terrain but directly over it. The terrain that got added in is 2000 units by 2000 units. As you can see when I move the directional light it affects the Z axis. We want the sun to go way far away in this direction so we want a large negative Z number. Let's go with negative 30,000 with the Z axis. Now if you zoom out you can see it's pretty far away. The arch will start here and end here. Now let's design what our sun's going to look like. We're going to import a flare texture that Unity already has. We're going to open that up in Photoshop. And we're going to use it as a canvas to make our own sun design. So go to Assets, Import Package, Light Flares, and click None. And <clears throat> you're only going to import the standard asset, Light Flares, Sources, Textures, 50 millimeter Flare, dot uh, psd photoshop document just import that guy and it should show up in your standard assets now if we go to the folder where we created the game in assets standard assets light flares sources textures we have the photoshop document that is how the sun was made so when you open that up you'll see that a grid is automatically imported and it has a square for each different part of the sun that unity is asking for when we create the flare itself, this is going to be the texture that gets put together as a sun. You can see that each square has something specific it wants. This big square right here is asking for the sun's rays. And we also have an example of what it looks like. Make sure that all layers are unlocked and you are on the correct layer that you're editing. Now that we know what it wants and an example of what it looks like, we can erase what we already have, what it already has, by painting over it, let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Do that for both of these layers. And now we can throw in our own design. We want to make sure that all the designs that we're creating are aligned with the grid properly. So what you can do for the sun's rays is you can select the line tool, set the fill to no fill, stroke to white, have it close to 10 points. And when you zoom in, you're going to notice that it gets pixelated really quickly. This isn't something you notice in Unity. It's just that the image size is 250 pixels by 512 pixels. Just as a preference, I don't want my sun's rays to be too long. So I'm going to make them um, about 0.9 inches in length and the sun's rays are going to act as a windmill so that whenever you're looking up into the sky at the sun and you move your sight from left to right it's going to spin there's an example of what the sun's rays can look like when you zoom out which you press uh, you hold left control and minus to zoom out you'll see that it's not all pixelated as you'll see it in the game. Whenever you want to start editing a new part of the sun, this little message is gonna come up. Just press okay every time. Next, we can make a design for the outer perimeter of the sun, uh, circumference, I think it's called. <laughs> just erase what they got here. And the way I'm erasing what they have is I'm just using a paintbrush with the color black so it paints over it. Where you get the line tool, let's get the ellipse tool. Tab no fill, 
And the colors it used was orange and purple-ish. So let's try to find some kind of orange that looks okay, like here. And let's make this the outside circle. So hold shift and drag to make a perfect circle instead of an, uh, an ellipse. And at first try to get it as close to... That's actually, that should be about right, right there. You can use this tool right here to move it if you want to align it even further. Now we're going to make another circle that's purple. Don't use the same layer that you were already using. We're going to use a new layer to do this one. And make the, stro the uh, stroke sort of purple. Ooh. It's a bit big. That could work even though it's inverted of the example. So we'll see how this looks in the game. And if you don't like what something looks like in the game, you can just open up this Photoshop document again, edit it, save it, and it'll get applied into the game. This is one of the easiest parts of the sun to make. All you got to do is choose the second first brush, actually, and make a size that isn't that big. And make the color white. And we're going to try to get it as centered as possible. You'll see if something isn't centered in the game. And then you can just come back and center it a little bit more. So again, all I'm doing is I'm taking what Unity's example already has. And I'm using my own design. I'm just trying to recreate what they already have. But if I don't like the look of it, maybe I want to invert the colors, then I can do that. You can make your sun as original as you want, or you can just try to follow exactly what Unity did so you know how to make the sun. Flips tool again, stroke white, no fill. We're going to have a smaller point circle. These two are basically these two, but with a fill and bigger. So let's add a fill now, just of white. And this is going to have to move down a bit. There we go. You should also probably use the eraser. I like a paintbrush. Nothing wrong with it. And once the crosshair is evenly in your sights, fire! That is way too big. There we go. This guy can be done with the gradient tool. Well, not, not, not with the gradient tool, but with the ellipse tool. And under fill, go to the gradient section. And we want it to be uh, a lighter gray in the middle. Let's see if we can use this guy. Yeah, we can use this guy. I want it to be a kind of grayish color in the middle. Double click that square to change the color. So let's see, we want a light gray. And it gets whiter. Let's see, light gray gets whiter. We want to change it from linear to radial. And there. That works for what it was asking. A little bit different, but we are using our own design. Move, shift it there. So we can just use the brush. White. Try to line properly. And then use the ellipse tool with no fill. Move it up. Bit. can always head back to the tool uh yeah the tool and change its properties bring this guy down a little bit so that's a little bit different than what it has but if you zoom out it makes enough sense this can be created with just a combination of two different sizes of that first brush This big circle is pretty much just what we did with the gradient part of the ellipse tool. Got a little bit of black on that other circle. Let's 
So we're going to use the ellipse tool with a radial fill. Just this guy again. Change the colors to what it's actually got is going to be pretty close to what we want. Because the inside is going to be yellow. The inside of the sun, that is. Big circle. The outline. Probably make it yellow. There. That's pretty good for the sun. Last but not least, we have this kind of crosshair thing, which I make a little bit weirdly. I'm sure there's a better way to make that crosshair, but I just make the crosshair with two line tools, setting the pixel width to three and the stroke to white. Aligning it, feeding the process for the X axis. Zooming in and out is holding the left control and either plus or minus key. Now we can basically use the uh, eraser tool there's nothing really wrong with using the eraser tool to just even, not even, round the edges. Too much round. And yeah, it'll look all pixely. Nothing wrong with that. Just make the edges a bit round. It's a bit too round. I mean, too flat. Something like that should be all right. Now we have our own designs for the sun. When we actually see the sun, we're probably going to see things we want to change. All we have to do is come back to this document and change them how we, will, how we want to. So let's save this as... We can just use a Photoshop document. Unity is all right with that. Let's call this sun design right there where the example was now if we go back to unity we have our sun design their sun design you can see differences <laughs> can definitely see differences and so let's, uh, let's create a folder for our flare because the flare is what the sun's going to look like so under skybox let's create a new folder for flare I'm making it under skybox just for organization organ organization you know what I'm trying to say and then uh, drag the Sun design under in it Put that in I cannot talk properly today let's make the max size 4096 true color and apply that for now we're gonna use this later in the actual flare and then we can just delete that folder that we imported we were just using it as an example slash canvas now to create a Sun that looks something like this we're going to create a lens flare so right click on the folder, create lens flare, you can rename it sun, and then with the directional light sun you're going to drag that lens flare to flare, and the settings that you can give it in the inspector tab is to drag your design to the flare texture, set the layout to one large, two medium, eight small, use i believe i use seven elements here but one of them is just uh the same element twice by accident element zero image index nine the image index is where it is around here size 20 this is how big your sun's going to be you can just give it a white color and then keep these settings the same for element one image index eight size three a really dark color element two was just a little experiment ignore that guy I'm at three, image index seven, size 20, dark color, and this one's going to also rotate. Element four, image index six, size 15, yellowish color. Element five, image index five, size 15, a dark color. Element six, image index four, position 0.5. That's setting this little mini sun that far away from the sun. I make the size about five, a bright color. Feel free to let it rotate. 
And for element 7, just make the size about 14 and a bluish color, as well as rotate. These are the settings I used to make the sun that you see right here, which I kind of like the look of. And now you have a canvas to mess with what it looks like and settings to mess with what it looks like until your sun looks as you want it to look like. If you have any questions, comment them below, and we're going to make the day-night cycle in the next video.